Okay, Chris, your uh, package has arrived, so let's get it opened up and have a look. Alright. Very cool. Looks familiar. Very nice. Oh, that's a nice case back. Very good. Okay. Alright, let's zoom down and have a closer closer inspection here. Okay, so this is the start of start of these very cool very cool watches interesting these are great all right so this is a 1967 6217 7000 this is the Olympic world time um, this was a watch that uh, Seiko put out as part of their sort of promotional if you will promotional um, endeavor in uh, providing watches and timekeeping for the 1964 Olympics and they had extra extra stock afterwards of, uh, of different watches uh, and so it was this and uh, some chronographs and some other um, other watches of that 60s mid 60s era um, that got um, put to the public and this is one of them and it's a really nice example this is a lovely watch um, okay so Gotta, oh, I wish this wasn't, well, it may not be cracked all the way through, but you do have a crack in your crystal, unfortunately. Um, right. So this is a pop-off pop, pop -off back case. It's got a internal gear and spring assembly in this crown which is essentially a rebuildable crown um, and we can do that um, okay so overall condition wise it's it's a very clean watch this is a really nice one you've got some indication of somebody sort of you know trying to get into the back a little bit um, there's usually a little thumbnail uh, hole, hole here and that's I think what this is um, but you know that's that kind of is just due to the design of the watch uh, we won't we won't add to that I hope um, a little scratching back there uh, these have an interesting um, sort of multi-piece uh, crown or um, uh, crystal and bezel assembly and it also pops off from here so you can sort of take the whole watch uh, apart um, yeah it's really nice the case back has uh, still you can still see these get worn down over time but you can still see the uh, Olympic flame on the back, which is really cool. Really nice. This was three years after the initial one was uh, was released, and it has a Chicago. Um, it's a Chicago, which is cool. So the later models of the six one one seven, not the six two one seven, um, made this a little less U.S. centric. So it's got Los Angeles, Denver, Chicago, New York. Um, as the sort of four um, time zones for the for the Americas, uh, and later on, they, of course, they changed the Chicago to be a Mexico City, which is a little more a little more inclusive of the other the other big cities in the, in the Midwest time zone. Um, but that uh, that is not what's on this particular watch. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, take off your case back. I think condition wise we're not really doing too much um, just cleaning things of course we're gonna reseal things. Um, I'm gonna look a, look around at what crystals I have available I think I have one for this uh, just in stock um, yeah it's definitely cracked which is a real shame took a bit of a bump there um, yeah okay all right well let's um let me get this case back off and we'll have a look. Okay. Okay, so case back is removed. Um, let's go ahead and have a quick look. Quick look around and see what we've got. Um, 
Of course, this is 6217 movement, the same one as in the 62 Moss, effectively. Um, the earlier incarnations of the 6000 series movements. Everything looks pretty clean. Um, doesn't look like there's been water intrusion, which is always good. A little bit of hair in there, nothing too serious. 17 joule, unadjusted. Um, look in your case back here for any marks. There's a few marks. Let me see what these have to say. Yeah, I'm not sure what any of these mean. But a couple scratches in the back of people's work. Certainly it's been opened. Um, all right, let's kind of see where you are with running, just to kind of get a baseline. So I'm gonna fully wind the mainspring. We're gonna actually do this in upside down at the moment, just to be sure. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna focus on the time graph. Okay, Chris, well, um, you know, this is just to me the the um, the nature of these amazing movements. They are um, they are really robust. Even even when and I looked very closely, um, there's no lubrication in this movement at all, uh, and it is just it's running great. You know these these numbers are really good. I mean these things can run upwards of 300 degrees, um, and you got to be a little bit careful actually because they can kind of do what's called overbanking. Um, which means that your your uh, your hairspring can can go to a larger amplitude than it should. Um, you know, for an unserviced watch, or at least a, a a watch that hasn't been serviced in a long time, these are great numbers. Um, it's out of adjustment, of course, but um, amplitude-wise, it's really good. Um, you know, I I would still recommend service for this one in particular, just because it um, it can be better, and there is no lubrication, so you run the risk of of wear. Um, you know, and it's it's kind of moving around a little bit now that it's lost a bit of its power spike. Um, but again, you know, these are these are really robust movements that that take well to service, and this one will respond very well considering where it's starting. Um, all right, so let's get back to the bench. Okay, Chris. Well, um, again, you got a you got a really nice watch here. Um, it seems to be running very very well. I'm really happy um, with with the starting point. Um, we have some things to do, you know. We have seals, uh, crown seals, and and other things that need to get done. Um, and that's you know that's just part of of the maintenance of the watch. Um, things get old and and they need need replacement. Um, in terms of cosmetics, you know, nothing to the case, of course, nothing to the dial, the hands, everything is is really really beautiful. Um, you definitely need a crystal because this is going to let in moisture. Um, and I will look to see what I have. Um, and I'll, I'll, if I can't find one, I'll have to order one, but it'll be here. Um, okay, well, um, we're going to get started. I'm going to send you this video and um, we'll, we'll move forward. Okay, well, thanks again. I'm just going to, I want to be sure I understand everything about the watch before we go too far. Um, I think you hands. Yeah, that's pretty darn good alignment. These are tough, but it looks perfect. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks again, Chris.